Hello again. It's so nice that for once I don't have to worry about trying to beat some sort of specific and niche challenge on this account in order to progress. And in case you didn't read the title or see the thumbnail, this is spells only. I'm saying that because I still get comments of why doesn't he just use Amber to light up the cooking pot or why not just use Lumine on the account? Does he not know that X or Y character exists? Here's a news flash for you. Spells only means means spells only. That's a crazy concept, isn't it? Also, if my voice sounds any different right now, it's because I literally just woke up a few minutes ago, so you're just gonna have to deal with that for a little bit until it gets going. We could make our way over to Inazuma in this video, but what I kind of want to focus on a bit more is leveling up our characters and getting stuff done that I've been waiting to do. Like, for example, the Nine Pillar quest, now that we got all of the Geoculus. That's a free fire five-star artifact that's going to be defense percent most likely. Actually, I think it's a flower, but just things of that nature. Just random little quests. I'm doing this to try to get some more talent materials for Ning Wong, and we'll just try to ascend up the characters to the same level, essentially making it so that as soon as our world level increases, we're not going to be struggling. We could go to Inazuma in this episode, and we still might towards the end, but I think we might shave that for- sh shave? Why did I say shave instead of save? I don't know. It's almost like- This video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped sent me their Perfect Package 4.0, which is an all-in-one men's grooming kit for hair body removal from head to toe. Upon opening the package, you are greeted with everything you see here. First up, we have the Lawnmower 4.0 Trimmer. It's waterproof and cordless, meaning you can shave anywhere, anytime. It features ceramic blades with skin-safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts. Plus, you can easily replace the blades when necessary. With four different adjustable guard lengths, you can trim your hair to whatever length you prefer. Plus, it features features a bright LED spotlight to help make shaving even easier. Thanks to the wireless charging dock and travel lock, you can bring this trimmer anywhere. It can even last up to 90 minutes on a single charge. To engage the travel lock, you just tap the front button three times to toggle it on or off. Also included in the package are the Crop Preserver Liquid Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Toner Spray. The Crop Preserver helps protect against body odor all day long. Just apply it to your darkest and dampest areas after a shower and you're good to go. The Crop Reviver has soothing aloe vera and witch hazel to quickly refresh in the areas whenever you need it. Additionally, for a limited time, you'll receive the Shed Travel Bag and Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs for free when you purchase the perfect package for 4.0. The boxers are super comfortable and flexible, and the Shed Travel Bag is the perfect size leather bag to store everything you need for grooming on the go since it's both water resistant and durable. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping and those two free gifts when you use my promo code JavaTheCup at manscaped.com. Big thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. How about we go test our luck to see how it's gonna be for the rest of this video? Just a little sample. I need two of this thing's drops to ascend Yanfei. Can we get both of them in one fight? The unfortunate thing is this is a very long fight for us. Oh, did we break him? Perfect. Here I was worried that- oh, never mind. There we go, and now, let's see how is our luck gonna be for the rest of this video. Okay, we have a chance. That is very good to see. Now we just need some of this. Which, to be fair, I should be farming more than I am, but when you have to juggle three different accounts, it gets a little hard to farm on all of them. And here's something I want to test, okay? We're just gonna apply pyro on those, and then- okay, okay, maybe we'll apply electro on those. We'll apply electro- okay, okay, here we go. Elect- elect- can you plunge? Elect- Electro and then pyro. I have to assume either this does not work or the rain is messing it up. So back to Ningguang it is. Oh, and now it stops raining like 10 seconds later. Okay, now that's cool. I wasn't trying to test anything. What is that? Get this out of my world. Is this an animal pinwheel? Disgusting. Okay, okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna- Oh, Lisa's attacking enemies through the wall. Oh, it's working. Wait, Lisa, that's cheating. I'm not gonna stop you, though. Feel free. Oh, looks like we got them all. Okay, so if we do that, do some of this. Yeah, okay, it does work. It does kind of work. I don't know if it's faster or slower than just using Ning Wong, though. Wait, 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 wait. Are we sure that it was the combination of these two and not just Yanfei's charge? 
attack because Yamfei's charged attack can destroy these. As long as you aim it correctly, it does damage. So I think... No, but it did more than that. It, it must have been overloaded. I don't know. How hard can this challenge be? I would have thought I'd have done it already, but I guess not. Oh, they boosted me into the air and gave me a free charged attack. That's so unfortunate for them. I have to say I am looking forward to leveling up the world though because no one's really dropping good drops. They either give me nothing or just the most common... Okay, ignore that one. As I was saying, they only give me the most common one or none at all. Like that. See? None. Oh, hold on. I've been farming the treasure hoarders for a little bit now. Aren't there a ton of them in the chasm? Oh my. Yes. Yes, there are tons of them here. Also, actually, another spot that I forgot about is up here in this little mazy area. There's a ton of them there as well. But this? Oh, there's so many. Okay, it is Yanfei time. Ascend up to the third ascension. Join the rest to the team. Oh, right. Free a quaint fate. I love blues. Now, unfortunately, as soon as we hit AR-35, we could have sent them all again, but we are nowhere near being able to do that. However, thanks to the little bit of farming we did before, we got a whole four of these guides to prosperity, so Ning Wang's charged attack can go up to level four. Also, I'm just going to level up Yan Fei's normal attacks. Ah, I don't have any more of these. Okay, well, you know what we could do? We could just level everything up to two then. I'll I'll have to go around and farm some more of the treasure hoarder insignias because I feel like her normal attack is probably the best thing to upgrade at this time. Look at how many of them there are. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I would not mind getting Ning Wang's C1 because then we get a little bit of AoE on her. You know, I'm sure I'm the last person in the entire world to realize this, but if you want treasure hoarder insignias, come to the chasm. This place is just crawling with them. Okay, Yanfei, there you go. It's going to take us a lot of time to actually get all of their talents up to max right now, especially because we're not at the AR where we can clear the highest levels or even access them. So I think the best thing to do with our resin from this point onwards is just focus on bosses. But don't worry, I have not forgotten. We have our one acquaint fate to use, and of course it's a blue. But actually what's pretty nice about that blue is it's up here, it's not on the list yet, so that's seven and eight. Eight. So our next acquaint fate should be a four star. Since we're upgrading characters, we probably want to go ahead and grab this weapon. Although to be fair, the prototype Amber would be kind of nice for Barbara, but we do have thrilling tales on her, which is fine. And I feel like this will just be a better weapon for Yanfei. We really need more of the catalyst blueprints on this account. All right, Yanfei, you now have a better weapon. Unfortunately though, we kind of can't level it up because it's a monstat weapon. Okay, hold on. I'm over in leeway right now. We can buy enough to ascend it another time, which is great. We can also buy this. I don't know how I missed buying this last time I was here, but I'm not gonna complain. In order to get these, it says you need the Domain of Forgery Trial Grounds of Thunder. If I go to the map and I just start clicking around on all of these, none of them say Trial Grounds of Thunder. Not in leeway and not in monstat. So, Oh, I'm assuming it's just because it's not the right day for it. I'm really hoping it is, in fact, in Liyue. I guess only time will tell. Oh, and probably the YouTube comments. I'm sure those will tell, too. I kind of got a little distracted right now, though, because I saw that we could get some more free Primo Gems from this place. So I'm just gonna kind of, uh, go get the free Primo Gems. Oh, boy. There is no way of dodging that. Uh, we're kind of not doing too well in here. This hunter is kind of destroying my life. Oh, yep, there it goes again. Yeah, I don't think I can actually do this right now. Hey, Barbara, you want to solo this for us? I really want to take this thing out, but it won't come back to the ground. I refuse to give up in here. Okay, the ruined hunter. I think it's the hunter is down. We just got these two guys left, which should be easier. But you know, if they don't put a time limit on a domain. I'm gonna take full advantage of that. And just like that, easiest domain of my life. I believe now I want to go around and put the little spheres, balls, whatever they are inside of these pillars. What are they? The stones. Okay, sure. Stones of remembrance. Pillar number two. Pillar number three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. I sincerely hope I'm wrong here, but I feel like this is going to be quite the struggle for us. I know I could make characters eat food on this account, but then it just feels like it trivializes the challenge. And now let's begin. The speed run to our demise. First wave down, now we have little Sonics to deal with. Basically that just means I stand here and just spam attacks and charged attacks and just hope that something locks onto them. And now we have to also deal with the infusion stones. Just go down. Just go down. Stop running. Thank you. And now we have to deal with you. I'm going to try to take out the infusion stones because if you don't, you kind of just die. And maybe, maybe you don't know this yet, but dying in this game, it's it's not a healthy option. Here goes another infusion stone. Where is it? It's over there. Okay. Run, Ning Wong, run. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come back down to earth. You don't see me flying up into the sky. Although to be fair, if I could fly up into the sky, I definitely would. So instead, I'm just going to throw rocks up there until of course another infusion stone pops up. You know what? That wasn't bad at all. Every time an infusion stone popped up, we could easily just shoot at it as long as there were no enemies nearby. Whereas on swords only, we had to somehow get to it first. So now this is our first five-star artifact on the account. Does it have good substats? No. Hey, Barbara, I got something for you. It's got HP. You know what I'm thinking, actually? We aren't able to farm this domain on the account, but what we could do is go and co-op with other people who are using catalysts and farm it in their world. Even though I said earlier in the video that we'd be spending resin on bosses from now on, that might not be a terrible idea, because leveling up the weapons definitely gives a big boost to damage. I've now said that I'm going to save resin only for or bosses, then I also said I'm only going to use it on bosses and weapons, and now I'm going to extend that even further, and we're gonna do our weekly bosses. I honestly thought we already did them, but I guess we didn't, and we are getting kinda close to AR-35, so that would be nice because then we get the acquaint bait and we'll get ourselves a 4 star. Ooh, okay, go down in the comments right now, and just place your bets on what you think the 4 star is gonna be. Obviously, it could be a weapon, it could be any character really. I really hope it's not a weapon though. If it's a sucrose, that would be so nice. The odds of that are so low though. Okay, you know what? Let's make it interesting. If it is a sucrose, I will use our Genesis crystals to buy either this skin or this skin. That's how confident I am that it's not going to be a sucrose. At least taking down Devalin's easy on this account. Oh, another fives. Okay, just don't be defense. And, you know, w what do you expect? Now, of course, it's unfortunate that we're missing two elements on our team. However, the bright side is I don't have to switch up my party whatsoever when I go to fight the wolf. The two elements we're missing are the exact two elements that this boss is immune to. I think that's about the only upside of the fact that we don't have those elements. I'm expecting this fight to take longer than Devalin, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. You know what? It's not that bad. Health bar is going down pretty fast. This jade screen blocks absolutely nothing from this boss. In the end, I think it was a little bit slower than Devalin, but honestly not that bad. Oh, we're getting five star artifacts now. And they're all defense percent because why not? Look at that XP bar though. I would love to go fight Child to get to AR-35, but you need to already be 35 to fight his weekly boss. So we're instead going to do something else to get the XP so that we can go fight him. Also, look at this. Look how many quests need to be done for that. So it's like, okay, you know what? That's fine. We'll do this one instead. Oh wait, we have to complete. We will be reunited to start that. Okay, let's go find that one. We will be reunited. Oh wait, we need to complete Dane's Leaf's quest first. Alright, Dainsleaf, looks like you're up next. You know, on swords only, I kept saying Dainsleaf better be a sword character, and I honestly think that he will, but Hoyoverse, if you want to go ahead and make him a catalyst user, I'm okay with that as well. Definitely not because this is spells only. Completely unrelated, but you know, I, I just feel like sword or catalyst would fit him nicely. Uh-oh. Recommended elements, cryo. Well, can't wait to see what that means. Oh, is that just because of 
of the, the whatever hydro abyss lector herald thing i think that's the only reason as far as i remember there aren't actually any cryo monuments in here okay why did they recommend cryo in here is it just because of this one hydro mage okay well i guess so seems like a very strange reason to need cryo Ooh, one common chest was enough to get me there? Might as well finish up this part of the quest and then go claim our rewards. So part one of Dane's Leaf is complete. Now it's time to find out if we're going to have to get a skin for one of our characters. Oh, we get three of the Geo Keys if we beat this? That's fine with me. That's 120 more Primo Gems. I must say, these enemies are rather tanky in here. I want you to listen close to the next two clips. As always, I was trying to say something but I didn't like the way it came out so I was re-recording saying the exact same thing or at least that was the goal. I didn't notice this happened until I dropped it in my editing software so see if you could spot the difference. That makes me a bit worried for what's gonna happen to our world once we set- that makes me a bit happy for what's gonna happen to our world once we do ascend it. Yeah, happy instead of worried. How did that even happen? I guess this is just rare footage of when your favorite AI accidentally glitches. I believe this is the only room that I'm afraid of in here because they spawn in a ton of enemies and they like to freeze you. Whenever enemies are super spaced apart, it's always annoying to deal with. You know what I just realized? I don't think there is a Hydro Hillichurl. I mean, I guess there's no Animal one either, but I could see them adding that at some point in the future. I think the Abyss Mages have to be some of the most annoying enemies in the game, especially when they pair a Hydro with a Cryo one. Well, there we go. Literally he spawned the chest right underneath me. Oh, we get two acquaint fates. Well, not like it really matters. That's still only one four star. So will we be having to buy one of the outfits for a character that we own? Let's go up here. Let's grab this and then we'll go in and wish. It's all in Hoyo versus hand. Okay. Um, I thought that was pity. I guess not. So that's six, seven, eight. That was the ninth one. I thought it was on the ninth one. It was pity, but I guess it's the 10th one. So there's our pity. Guess it's a good thing we got two wishes out of that and we get whoa that's a that's a sucrose whoopee so anyways let's go fight child i fully expect to get blown back here Oh, he almost just one shot me. Uh oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, I was in the middle. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's so easy. It's just his first phase. Only two more to go. Oh, Ning Wong. No, 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 don't die, please. Oh, how are you supposed to dodge that? I just sack a character every time it comes up. Oh, uh, here we go again. Yep, there goes half my HP. That's fair. Ah, Barbara's about to die. That's cool too. Hey, so how about we just eat up a little bit before this fight? I don't know that that's actually going to change anything, but we'll do it anyways you know what let's also increase some defense because why not we'll increase our attack and we'll increase our sprinting stamina as i've said i usually don't like using food but it kind of feels necessary here yeah look at that that thing just did over half my hp in one hit i do okay damage but my whole team is so frail uh oh well 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 oh my gosh what do you have against my hp bar okay we were able to do it good thing i only have to do that once per week because that is is not fun. <gasps> A five-star artifact that literally cannot be defense per Never mind, I stand corrected. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and see what quests we can do. So this one, no, we still need to do We Will Be Reunited. All right, let's do that. Oh, wait. Okay, can't do that. Have to go do another one. Okay, let's go do this one then. Stuff like this is the exact reason why on this account, I am not redeeming any of these. At least not until we are done with anything that has to do with any of those characters. Because knowing me, I would redeem one of them, and then the following quest I try to do would be blocked until I finish it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for taking control away from me. That was, that was so cool. Did this Elogitril just meow at me? All the more reason for me to defeat it. Now we're able to do the We Will Be Reunited quest, which of course means going in my favorite domain, the Bubble Domain. I'm gonna leave it up to all of you guys to remind me that I have keys for the Geo Shrines, because I'm not gonna go around and find them right now since we don't need Primo Gems at the moment. Once we have a Klee rerun or Hazo is released, I'll go and use the other keys, because apparently we have four. Well, now three. But in case 
case I forget and I'm scrambling for extra primo gems, we do still have those. Yes! Bubbles! I love the bubble domain. Look at how much fun I'm gonna have. Yes! Look at that. Oh, it just... It, I can't wait. I can't wait for the one where you have to go up the huge bridge with all the bubbles coming down. I am beyond excited. Oh, we get to do it already? Let's go! I just love it so much. Oh, I actually made it all the way up on my first try, huh? Well, when you've done it on five different accounts, I guess you can kind of expect to get better at it. Wow, Ning Wong just kind of destroyed him. Oh yay, they paired a Cryo and Hydro Abyss Mage together again. Oh wow, how creative. This time, they put a Cryo and a Hydro Abyss Mage. Never been done before. Oh, wait, we actually somehow knocked this thing out. I think it was the overloaded proc somehow did it. I didn't think we'd ever be able to get that achievement. You know, can we just call the Herald to come back once a week and lock this boss down like that? It would really save me a lot of time. Hey, so, uh, Cryo Catalyst when? That'd come in very handy right about now. In all honesty, at the start when I said we wouldn't be going to Inazuma in this video, I completely forgot that we had to do so many quests before we could even get there. So we definitely will not be getting there in this video, but hopefully we'll get pretty close. We do have a bit of an issue that's going to present itself before we get there though. And unfortunately, it might be one of those parts of the game where you're not able to get out of it. I'm sure some of you know exactly what I'm talking about, and for those of you who don't, you'll see once we get there. Why does Dainsleaf's whole, I guess, kit or abilities, whatever, remind me so much of Yelon? First, he had the little imprisonment ability, which Yelon has with her elemental skill. And then his dash forward there was also like Yelon's elemental skill. Yelon is Dainsleaf confirmed? They're really making me come back to the docks, huh? I'm gonna have PTSD every time I come here from now on. You know what? I'm gonna make use of the fact that Lisa's attacks can go through walls. I'm very glad that we found this out. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm pretty sure this competition is the only thing that stands between us and Inazuma. And spoiler alert, this competition's a little problematic for us. So the question becomes, will we be forced to use Lumine or is there a way around it? And if you want to know the answer to that, you'll have to stick around until the next video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to press that like button because it does help the channel a lot. And check to make sure you're subscribed if you do want to be subscribed. But with that, I will see you guys next time.